grape. Grapes will turn into wine, right? Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I, was like, I can't wait to try some wine, dog. I love grapes. Because I just had sparkling, I had sparkling um, yeah, grape sparkling juice. So I was like, sparkling grape juice. So I was like, oh, I love it. I was killing bottles of it. Popping bottles. You know, I was like, yeah. You know, I was like, yeah. So I went and bought some wine. Some expensive ass wine. And I was like, it smells kind of funny. I was like, I poured, poured a big ass cup of it. I was like, damn, it smells kind of. I didn't know, I was like, maybe just, you know, maybe it's how it's supposed to, you know, smell. smell. I poured a big ass cup, poured a big ass cup in my mouth, spit that shit out, dog. I was so mad, so bitter and shit, dog. I thought it was gonna be sweet, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's made with grapes. Yeah. It's like shit. Have you had any sweet shots or anything? I might, I, I, dog, I don't like to taste the mouthwash. No, I mean. So, how's the weather like Vegas compared to Hawaii? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that says it all. Yeah, it's, it's cold here. What is? I don't even. What? What is it right now? Like 50? Like, no, it's like 45. I think. Oh god, it's 45 compared to 77. I just left. I just left 77 degrees. So. And if you cool. notice, everyone else. Except for the Hawaii guy, Eddie. <laughs> No, I never, I never. I drink soda, Mountain Dew, and Pepsi. And what if we give you some shots and you can't taste the alcohol at all? No, it's always dog. Listen, I literally don't drink at all, so I can like mouthwash. I can taste the alcohol as I'm gargling. Like it's like I'm so sensitive. I can smell it. I can smell the alcohol. That's why I can smell the alcohol in the wine. But I figured that hey. I know it's a little, a little wine, but it can't be that strong. Maybe like grape juice. Cause that's what everybody was saying. It's like grape juice, though. Nowhere near grape juice. I love grape juice. juice. This is sparkling welches. Yeah. And I, I like the white grape, and I like the motherfucking uh, red grape, and I like the you know, normal grape. Yeah. I be killing that stuff. At the weigh-ins, pop a bottle of sparkling grape juice. <laughs> Kill it, dog. So, Ian, what do you think of uh, Eddie's outfit here? Uh, he's Hawaiian, so he knows not that smart. Um, <laughs> sing. No, if, I don't know, dude. What are you thinking? It's cold. Uh, it's, I just got tattoos. Oh, okay. That makes so, sense. Yeah. I like that. Thanks. Okay. So that's uh, hey, show me the other one. Show me this one. That one's sick. So technically, there's a, there's a method behind the madness. Yeah. Defend Hawaii, my friend. Yes. Just trying to show off my sexy legs, you know. Yeah. It comes at a price. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> How cold is it right now? It's like 50 degrees? I didn't see all of it. It's like 32 or something. Let's see here. Crazy. Local weather. 45 degrees. It was 32 this morning. Does that make you feel even colder now? It makes me feel a little warmer now. No. Sparta partners, they're yeah. waiting for you. <laughs> what do you guys think? Like Here's the Sparta partners, they're waiting for them. Only 10 pounds lighter. You think? Yeah, 115 pounds. How old are you guys? I'm 14. Okay, so they're not that young. I can technically punch them, they're old enough. The last drink I had was a Sirocco Bomber. And it, it, it's like. Vodka? Ciroc. Is that what the president drinks? Nah, I wish he would. The thing is, like, you know, my boy's like, yeah, Ciroc Obama is in Dallas. I was Ciroc Obama. I was like, let me try one. And I was like, here in Vegas, so I got one, and like, I got one for everybody. I was like, yeah. But the thing is, the alcohol, I just didn't like it. It's like, it's like Shambar, they get, they get, they get Ciroc, Shambar, and Fruit Punch. And sugar on the, so the, sugar on the, on the cup, so I was like, licking the sugar off. And I was drinking the, the, the Fruit Punch, killing it. It tasted good, but then when it got to the bottom, it tasted the alcohol, so I was like, uh-uh. So what I used to do, like, what I do is I just get like fruit punch. That's the point. But if I taste the alcohol, dog, I get I get drunk so fast, dog. Literally, like, one one drink and I'm I'm throwing up. Maybe two, I'm throwing up. You know, I'm done. I'm done by one. I would just be cool and chill, you know what I'm saying? Like you never like, want to rush in. Southpaw's ain't gonna rush in. You have the angles, and a lot, most guys don't train with Southpaw, so by the time, you know, you're finding a guy Southpaw, you, it should take you like a round or take you a few minutes to figure him out and figure out your distance. Where a Southpaw, it's usually spot with guys that are orthodox. When you see a southpaw versus a southpaw fight, that's when it gets ugly because southpaws aren't used to start sparring or other southpaws. So you can spar with guys that are orthodox. But you never rush into southpaw. My boy Fareed Samad, he's an um, Olympic alternate, great boxing coach. He beat David Reed in the amateurs. He's a southpaw. My boy, my boy Tim Lane, southpaw. Zab Judah, southpaw. But you'll never see those good boxers or good kickboxers, Georgia Petrosian. 
their southpaws rush in anything. They sit there, they sit the table with a good jab and throw a good combo and then angle out, sip around. So that's the southpaw lesson for you. Since I'm boxing is my favorite sport. Then, then MMA, actually amateur wrestling and boxing, then MMA. I love those sports. I watch them all day. What's up? My buddy Richard, he runs How are you? Right Richard Wells, nice to meet you. Pleasure. You gotta take care of us here. So, what, what is everybody uh, doing now? Uh, probably gonna go eat. Some food and stuff. Alright, can I just get my rental car? You need a rental car? Yeah, can I have to go to the train store today? Hang on to that. Yeah. That's how we roll, King Mo and Melee. Yep. fire truck. <laughs> Drive you motherfuckers around. This is an MMA Elite fire truck. This is how elite athletes travel in fire trucks. Ready to fire at any time. It's pretty cool though, actually. We got stripper poles in there. Stripper pole? Yeah. Any girls in there? Anybody try it out? You guys uh, saw Uncle Creepy up there? Uncle <laughs> 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 The Tasmanian Devil? The Tasmanian Devil. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. We out, man. Let's go.